Today's another day to work on the interior. David's here again. We are going to replace my OEM mirror, which is a little bit small. Some people get those little extensions, which look really cool. But I'm gonna go all out and replace it with this. It's a, I think it's like 52 inch wink mirror or something. Um, and it's much, much larger than we got, actually got the OEM mirror out. Yeah, there, there's a size comparison. It's a little bit bigger. Um, I'm doing it mostly because I want to do something different than everyone else, because why not? It probably makes... <laughs> and, and you don't really see them on new cars, actually. They're more like an old school, like a lot of cur old Corollas and stuff I've seen on the internet. Rally, boy! Yeah, and rally cars. But hopefully it should be pretty easy. The brackets come with it are like these. You're supposed to just screw these into, it says the metal strip above your headliner, which I don't know what they're talking about. But I think I can mount these to where the sun visor holes are with these and then just using all the brackets that come with it. So we'll see if that works. I am hoping so. I think it should. I don't think we'll need to like make any spacers or the screws that we can make, make it work, but hopefully it does. And then it'll also hold up the front of my sun or my headliner better because right now it's just kind of hanging there. Yeah, you can see it's, let's zoom in a little bit. There, you can see it hanging down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> David pointed out it's hanging down a little bit you don't notice it inside but outside you will but the wink mirror she'll hold it on a little bit and then I'm gonna eventually just use Gorilla Glue and double-sided tape like everything else Hey! That's yeah, a lot of... That, that would mount your dash. That would for sure mount your dash. <laughs> it's a little warm. It's, yeah, it will touch Here, it. Off it. No, just touch it. It's not that hot. It's not you know. too hot, but it would melt stuff. <laughs> yeah, that would melt your dash. So, assembly of the mirror is quite easy. It's just a couple of little thing doodads to make it adjustable. And this is how they say is just metal strips surrounding your windshield. Um, I'm gonna try to use the sun visor as I said. Also, you could also go with a, like a, the old, what they do to put your normal mirror on is just like a little piece of the adhesive and those little brackets, but what I've read, those fall off really easy because the mirror's a little bit heavier than your OEM one. <laughs> just a little bit, not much. It looks like these should fit pretty well. Might need a little bit of a spacer, but not much but the screws themselves need a little wider hole, so we're just gonna drill out that one closest here. And then hopefully we should be able to put it in. We thought we were so smart, we figured out where it goes, we figured out, we forgot that it um, will bottom out, because your little tiny bracket is a little bit thinner than the plastic, so. Yeah, we're gonna have to shorten Magic these. time! Or risers. Or we could just cut them, can we? Hacksaw? It's fine. We're doing stuff properly. <laughs> Where did this screw go? Here. The first test fit with the brackets. Um, oh my. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! yeah. That's gonna look professionally done, like. Sexy hot, boys. Sexy and hot. That is so good. So we just have a couple more things to do then, and then we're done. Let's do this. Oh, my freaking back is upside down. Wait, where did my nuts go? Put it in there. <sighs> just kind of like fingerly dingly, mm -hmm. nimbly dimbly, jumping through the trees all nimbly bimbly like. Um, which side are you on? Wrong side. Fuck. <laughs> oh, like what happened? This fits so well before. That's awesome. I like it. Yeah, and just tightening those will just kind of bend the brackets together. Yeah. You don't even need any spacers in there. Oh, shit. Okay. Tighten that up. Okay. Tighten your bracket to the roof up there. That's actually really sexy hot. I like that. I really like that. Boom, the mirror's done. Look at that viewing angle. I can see David way over there. How tight are you putting that? Tight. 
Liga. <laughs> That's awesome. That was honestly probably the easiest thing we've ever done to my car, I'm thinking. Other than stickers. <laughs> Other than stickers, it's the easiest thing I've done to my car. But it actually looks really cool. Um, I think it will take a little bit of time getting used to. As David was saying, like you see everything. You see the people in the back. Like you can make eye contact with everyone sitting in your car if you needed to. I don't know why, but it's a cool thing. Um, it really adds to the interior, I'd have to say. There is the final product. It looks almost like a professional install. Like the brackets only bent a little bit and they lined up almost perfectly. That's what I was hoping, but I wasn't sure if it was gonna happen. It's gonna be really weird to drive, but there's comparison. There's your mirror, there's the OEM mirror, there's the aftermarket mirror. I think it's a little bit bigger, just a little bit. You can barely see it from the front. Also, don't mind the car, it just rained like the last two days here. I was gonna put stickers on it, I still probably will, but I might also, I don't know what I'm gonna do. We're, we'll see what happens. This was the last thing I wanted to get done before I tinted my windows, so next video is probably going to be a vlog or something similar of why I tinted my windows and what percent that is going to be. It's going to be a little bit dark, but not like too, too dark. It's still going to be drivable at night. But I'm really excited for the car season this year. It's going to be really awesome. There's already a bunch of stuff planned out, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's um, quick little install of my wink mirror from eBay, so peace out and stay humble.